After having been a mechanic in the Marine Corps, Kyle Thompson returned to civilian life a little more than 10 years ago. With a passion for motorsports and anything that goes fast, Kyle returned home needing something to occupy his time. In 2008, he started Thompson Motorsports with his wife as a way to pay for his motorsports habit. Thompson Motorsports was more or less a side gig for the first two years, but a growing customer base and consistently busier work schedule started to change the mindset. Today, Thompson Motorsports operates out of a 10,000 square foot facility where the shop focuses on LS and LT engine platforms. And today, we're gonna to give you the details of a 440 CID LSX methanol engine in this episode of Engine of the Week. This video is sponsored by Pengrade. Precision, performance, Pengrade. Always the original green oil. And by L-Ring. Leading technology, leading service. Hey everyone, I'm Greg Jones, editor of Engine Builder Magazine. And today we're diving into the details of an engine built by Thompson Motorsports in Nevada, Texas. While Thompson Motorsports has the capabilities to work on engines for any application, such as Ultra 4, cigarette boats, buggies, and pro drift, the Texas-based shop is focused primarily on drag racing applications, such as no prep and radial. From its humble beginnings as a hobby shop to now a full-fledged engine shop, Thompson Motorsports churns out 550 engines a year, and has recently put more time and attention into high-level engine builds like this 440 CID LSX methanol engine for radial drag racing. Here's Kyle himself to tell you more. So what we put together for this one was a LSX build. It's for a radial Corvette the customer's using. It's a 440-inch motor. We did a 4-inch stroke for 4185 bore. It went to LS Experts in Ballground, Georgia. LS Experts is one of our bigger dealers, so we do 30 to 40 motors a year for them. This was the owner's pet project. This is his, his personal toy. On the short block, the shop actually started with a Cali's Ultra Billet crank, but ended up switching to a Dart center counterweighted crank. When we switched to that, that's a full counterweighted crankshaft, so it actually wouldn't fit in the LSX block. Uh, we wrote a program on our CNC and went through and clearance to use that crankshaft so that we could get it to fit in without crashing anything. The heads were from Brodix. We did have them hipped through Brodix, you know, help with some strength there. Still all water jacketed, but there's no water in it. So it is a water jacketed head and block, but we do run it dry. With the dart crank in place, Thompson Motorsports worked with Diamond for pistons and used a custom coating for the methanol build. The shop also installed GRP aluminum rods, a set of T&D shaft mount aluminum bodied rockers, pack springs, king coated bearings, and custom Victory titanium Inconel valves. So we did a 2250 on the intake and a 1580 on the exhaust you know, and nice long valves, like I said, so we were able to get a little bit of lift in there. We didn't need a whole lot, but able to get a little bit of lift and really shim it up and put some pressure to it so we could turn it. We set it up on an Aviad dry sump motor, uh, you know, plugged all the, the main galley on it, ran it through the back like you typically do on those. And then we used a cam motion custom grind. We, you know, worked with them, put together a grind that we thought would work really well, and it actually, it, it worked phenomenal for this. The camshaft selection pairs well with the single precision 118 millimeter turbo the shop chose, which will get the Corvette down the track quickly. And Thompson Motorsports stuck with a standard MLS head gasket, despite the high horsepower. There's kind of been some controversy over making this kind of power if you need to go in and do the top fuel hoops on. We stuck with an MLS gasket and we've been sending it with it on this, so didn't really do anything special. The idea behind this is it was one that even though it was set up to make big power and, and do what we're doing with it, we could put water on it and still drive this motor. The engine is completed with a fuel tech operating system and a Frankenstein Engine Dynamics billet intake manifold. With a 10 to 1 compression ratio in this methanol-fueled 440 CID LSX, the engine churned out 1,980 horsepower at a little under 30 pounds of boost on the shop's hub dyno. However, Thompson admits there's plenty of horsepower still on the table since the shop didn't really lean on the engine too hard. So far, the Corvette has gone an eighth mile best 
4.52 at 161 miles per hour on 23 pounds of boost. But according to Kyle, the boost can go as high as 50 pounds, and the shop anticipates this engine can get the radio Corvette to run low 4.2s in the eighth mile. Knowing Kyle's propensity for things that go fast, this 440 LSX engine certainly fits the bill. Well, that does it for this episode of Engine of the Week. A special thanks to our sponsors, Pengrade Motor Oil and L-Ring. And if you have an engine you'd like to see featured, please email me at gjones at babcox.com. See you all next time.